Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple released iOS 14.5.1 a few days ago to address a few issues, a few bugs and security concerns with iOS 14.5. And of course, in this video, we're going to go over some of the latest details, some of the latest menus and things that have been discovered within the software. And I want to also share with you guys my personal experience so far with iOS 14.5.1. Now, as you may remember, with iOS 14.5, Apple introduced a new app tracking feature, which is under privacy. If we head on over to privacy here in settings and they go to tracking, this feature here allows you to allow or not allow apps to track you for advertising purposes. With iOS 14.5, this feature was grayed out for some users and the actual feature wasn't working properly. So Apple released 14.5.1 in order to fix that for some users. By the way, I do want to hear from you in those comments down below. If you were having issues with this feature on 14.5, did 14.5.1 fix that for you? So that was one of the main concerns and one of the main reasons Apple released 14.5.1 to address that concern. There was also some WebKit concerns and security flaws within the OS for Mac OS, iPad OS, iOS, and Apple updated those as well in order to patch those security concerns within the software as well. Now, I do want to share my experience with the software, but before we do, I want to go ahead and share with you guys this very interesting menu that appears on the Find My application. If we head on over to Find My here and you go to the Items tab and select one of your tagged devices with AirTag and you click on the Find menu here, if you tap four to five times on the actual name for the tag, you get a secret menu. And this was posted on Reddit. I'll link it in the description down below. Quite interesting. I think Apple just simply forgot to remove this from the software. So let's tap four times on the actual name here. One, two, three, four. And look at that. We get this really interesting menu here that definitely shouldn't be here. This looks like a menu that Apple will use for testing the actual software, testing the air tags and how everything worked down here. We have the proximity mode. And if we tap into that, we have the interactive mode. And you see that it switches new toggles appeared on the screen. You can tap to stop and go. And just so interesting. I'm pretty sure Apple just forgot to remove that entirely from the actual UI on iOS 14.5 and 14.5.1, of course. So there it goes, tap four times, one, two, three, four, it disappears, one, two, three, four, it reappears. Rather interesting menu that Apple forgot to remove. I thought it was quite interesting to share that with you guys. But now let's get to some of my personal experiences so far with iOS 14.5. One thing that I've noticed is, as you may remember with iOS 14.5, Apple introduced the battery recalibrating for battery health on iPhone 11 models specifically. Now, I want to know if you guys have come across this issue as well. I got this message here just a few days ago, and then it went back to normal. Right here, it says that it was unable to verify this iPhone's battery is genuine, a genuine Apple battery, and the health information will not be available, and then it said maximum capacity, and then these two dashes, or this dash right here, which was quite interesting. I didn't replace the battery at all on this iPhone 11. It is genuine and then it went right back to what it was before so let's head on over to the battery section here go to battery health and then you can see right here that it's back to 98 percent and it's now recalibrating again have you come across this issue where your iphone is telling you that you uh, it can't tell if it has a genuine battery or not again i did not replace the battery on this iphone but on the latest 14.5.1 this has happened for me. I had to reboot my device and then it goes back to recalibrating. And it's happened twice already. So something quite interesting, as I mentioned, I've had this iPhone since a day of launch and I've never, never replaced the battery on it. So I would like to hear from you. I would like to know if this is an isolated incident, maybe just to me, or do you have a different model iPhone? Has this happened to you? Or even iPhone 11 model, has this happened to you? I just feel like it's quite interesting that it happened on iPhone 11 just when we got the new battery calibrating feature. Now, in regards to performance, I can't complain at all. The iPhone battery and iPhone performance overall is just amazing. 14.5 introduced a ton of awesome features. The software is polished. I can't really express many concerns in regards to the software other than that battery situation that I just mentioned. In regards to performance, everything is buttery smooth for me. I would like to know how is the software performing for you? How's the battery performing for you? And overall, those are some of the latest concerns that I wanted to address and also share with you guys. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.